Today I'm going to change the oil on my Jeep SRT8. But the first thing I need to do is warm up the oil by taking it for a short drive. This is your oil pan and there's a plug that you need to remove. And again, you need a 13 millimeter for that drain plug. So let's go. The oil filter on this 6.1 Hemi Jeep SRT8 is located right there. It's easy to find because I just look for this. This is just a this little spout is just a diverter for the oil. So once you pull the oil filter out, the oil comes out, kind of drips off this. And I've noticed there's a lot of oil buildup right there. So I suspect that uh, the oil filter wasn't installed correctly and maybe it was just leaking a little bit last time but that's where the oil filters look at right there oh yeah that was a bit too loose I think so yeah I think that's why there was a bit of oil there it was just coming from the oil filter so I just let it drip a little bit And it's out. Okay, I just have a couple of comments regarding the oil filter. First, the various models with the same 6.1 Hemi don't always use the same size oil filter. So for example, on this 07 Jeep SRT8, Mobile One oil filter is a size 204. On my 2008 Charger SRT8, uh, same engine, 6.1. That one uses a size 210. So just keep that in mind. The other thing with the oil filters, I think it's always a good idea to fill it with some fresh oil before you put it back on the vehicle. And just uh, put some oil on the top seal and that's ready to go on the vehicle. Okay, with your new oil filter, Filled with some fresh oil. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on now. All right. Finally, I like to clean down the underneath of the vehicle, get all that oil off. And the thing I like to use is fluid film. It's a rust and corrosion um, protector. Not only cleans everything, but I just like to put on once in a while especially on all the metal parts and this stuff smells amazing uh, some people uh, can't stand the smell but I, I don't know for some reason I love it Anyways. so I just wipe down all the oil and I'll just go around with the fluid film just put on all the metal parts And right before the winter hits, I uh, put this throughout everywhere underneath the vehicle, all the metal components. Uh, it's great for, uh, you know, like I said, preventing rust. All right, so everything is nice and clean and smelling good too. Okay, that's it. Now we're ready to uh, put some oil in this vehicle. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten the oil drain plug. Now, if you wanna get technical, it should be tech torqued to uh, 20 foot pounds, but I like to uh, get it just just snug. Don't need to over tighten it, just nice, nice and tight. All right. So 
So after you start the car and rev it for a bit, just recheck the level. All right, last thing to do is dispose of your old oil. I like to use these uh, cat canisters. They're, they're pretty awesome. I got four of these. I guess I'm a bit of an OCD person. I mean, not a lot of people clean their ramps, but I like to clean, clean them every now and then just to keep them looking like new. What's up, buddy? What's up? Just cleaning my ramps. Nice thing with these ramps, they've got these handles, so they're great. You can just hang them on the wall instead of leaving them just sitting on your floor and taking up space. Uh, they're very expensive, but you know, well worth the investment. Okay, here's my assistant. Say hi. Hi. Bye, guys.